Yo, 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 guys, what is up, my crew of Epical Awesome subscribers? Welcome back to episode 4 of the Survival Let's Play series. Woo! Guys, we have to get this house ready. It's just a complete and utter frame block of wood, so we need to kind of sort this out. Isn't that right, Mr. Cow? No, don't show me your butt. Show me your face. Jesus. So we got one of two options. We can either go caving and collect as much cobblestone and resources as we can. We do still need to cut down a bunch of trees. In fact, we need to cut down... The whole freaking Amazon. I'm not even kidding. We need to co collect a lot of materials if we're actually going to build a city. You know what? I actually forgot that I had a saddle. And I even have some iron horse armor. So you know what? There were, there were some horses nearby. So the first thing we're going to do in this episode is we're going to actually tame a horse and see if there's any houses and villages nearby. That would be kind of useful, wouldn't it, guys? Oh, what's in this cave? Oh, my God! This, this fuck... What? What? This... <laughs> There's three creepers and there's- Ay, 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 stop it! Oh. Right, so let's try and kind of saddle up this, this chupacabra over here. I totally forgot how to saddle up a horse. I can't believe it. What do I need? Oh, here we go. Yeah, I can give you a golden apple. He totally ate that golden apple. All right, there we go. Finally, we got ourselves a saddle. Do we have a name tag? I think I left it in the chest, but you know what? We can now go super fast. Right, so my house is over there. I just want to kind of check that there isn't any villagers nearby because if there is, well, there's not really much we can do because we do we do have the desert villagers anyway. But I just want to... Wow. I've never seen so many sunflowers. This is crazy. Oh, why did you have to be so difficult? You can do it. There we go. There we... Yes, finally. Well, guys, I don't seem to find any villagers any, anywhere nearby, so you know what? I think we should go straight into caving and collect some cobblestone because we're going to need that. Either way, we do have a full set of iron armor and we should be pretty good to go. All right, so what are we going to name this guy? Seeing as we do have a name tag, how do we use a name tag? I'm sorry, Jesus. How to name your pet horse. And name the horse whatever you would Oh my god, I need a freaking anvil. Got myself some... What? what, what? Okay, I think I got way too many torches, but it's fine. That, sh that should be good enough to go caving anyway. All that's left to do is to cook up some meat and we'll off to go to some caving. And hopefully, with that done, we'll be able to start finishing off the survival house. Now, I think to make a Minecraft lead, we needed some s some slime balls. That's kind of annoying. But I'm just kind of worried about losing Paquito the horse here. So I need to kind of find a way to not lose him. All right, this should work, right? Is that TNT? <laughs> okay, that's not a good idea, is it? Oh, never mind, whatever. First, we need to go mine some cobblestone. So we're gonna go straight into this cave. Wow, there's some lava already. As if a stack of 250 candles, I mean torches, <laughs> isn't enough to go caving. Right, seeing as we're here and I do have a shovel, I do wanna kind of find myself. <laughs> this, this is gonna be good. Because once I get myself that, that is what we need. We're gonna get this and we're gonna start blowing up this entire cave. We're gonna create a downward entrance cave of epical awesome proportions you know what we don't need to go caving anymore guys you'll see what i'm gonna do you guys are gonna think i'm freaking crazy because i am crazy anyway you guys are having a lot of fun ain't that right it's gonna be quite interesting in there you guys are going to flip a mac nugget once you find out what i'm about to do and you guys are gonna be like jerry craft that's not a good idea don't do it well i'm gonna do it because i want to be interesting and do something no one's ever done before well, I'm sure, I'm sure someone's done this before, but I want to build a downward shaft mine of epical awesomeness right outside my house. Whew. Right, so all we need now is to put the flint over here and the iron over here. Jerocraft, that was the quickest mining session you've ever done. You've went all that way just to get a flint and steel. No, we're going to go mining right now because I'm going to dig a straight downward hole. And I know this is a bad idea because they say that you will find yourself in a lava pool if you, if you dig straight down. Right, so seeing as there's a bunch of caves over here, my house is there, okay? We can have the entrance to the mine shafts right here. Now, let me just clear out some zombies because I'm hearing a bunch of stuff in here. There's a creeper and a zombie. Hey, how you doing? Oh my god, there's an enderman. Don't look at the enderman. You guys told me not to look at the enderman. Oh my god, it's coming. Why? Why are you doing this? No, please, please, please. Take it easy. Ay, 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 just die already. I should have spam click. I forgot. I, I forgot not to spam click. I'm not spam clicking. I'm not spam clicking. I'm not spam clicking. I'm gonna die. Oh my god. I'm sweating. I feel like I've just come up with a kamikaze up in Aqualandia. It's hot. How you doing, mister? You alright there? You're not gonna come at me, are you? Oops. I wasn't supposed to do that. 
Look, there's a bunch of iron over here. I'm just gonna take it, okay? Hello, how you doing, buddy? Hey, Jesus! Oh, no, don't shoot him at me! Ah! <laughs> Stop! Stop it! I'm just trying to clear out this cave so I can build a mine shaft, okay? Terracraft, don't do it. This is a bad idea. Right, I hear lava. <laughs> So I'm not going to mine any further down because I do not want to die. I do not burn, burn alive. Now down to my idea. <laughs> I know you guys, I know what you guys are thinking. Zerocraft, this is a horrible idea. And some of you guys are like, yes, do it. Just do it, Zerocraft. Oh boy, I dug just a bit too deep. I'm about to do it, guys. Maybe I should dig a hole further in. <laughs> just in case. I mean, it shouldn't be that bad, right? Okay, here it goes. Oh boy! Quick, close us in! Oh my god, that was hit! Oh, that was so close! That was a horrible idea. Why? Didn't, what was my? What was my plan anyway? I I don't think I should have done that. All I wanted to do was get some cobblestone. Oh my god! What the hell? I just equipped the flint and steel as a shield. I'm gonna die if I don't get out of here. Jerkraft, why did you waste all your TNT on that? Can I sleep while there's monsters nearby? <laughs> I guess that's only in hardcore modes. I need your gunpowder because I need to make more TNT. Because my subscribers are gonna kill me when they find out I just I literally wasted all the TNT on that. I was expecting to make an, a mine shaft, and I will make a mine shaft. I'll, I'll fix up that, that cave later on. Wow, that's already wasted a ton of wood. I can't believe how much wood has just gone on just that. That's crazy. I've lost like literally a stack of 64 log just to put this. This is going to take forever, guys. This is madness. I'm just going to plant a bunch of trees right over here because that way we have trees nearby that we can cut down without having to travel to the other side of the freaking map. There we go, guys. We got ourselves a tree farm. Woo! Now let's kind of sort this out. I'm gonna go cut some more trees down. To be honest with you, this doesn't really look much like an extreme hills biome. There's just too many trees and too much flat land everywhere. I'm not too sure if this even is extreme hills. And until we find an emerald, we're not gonna find out, are we guys? Ah, oh, look at this view. This is amazing. Wait, what on earth is that? <laughs> this is like a random tree just floating in the middle of nowhere. That's fine. It doesn't really seem like extreme hills. It looks more to me like extreme trees. Right, guys, I think I should have enough wood. I mean, we have a nice stack of logs, so we should be able to have enough wood to at least get the first floor done, right? I want to build a fireplace on this side of the house as well, so let's see how that goes. And poor Paquito is still locked up in here. I feel like I need to free him. Oh, Jesus, I'm sorry. Aquí ten, amigo, una manzana para ti. Hey, Paquito. Oh, Paquito. How you doing? <laughs> Listen, Paquito, please don't run away. The house is almost done, and I promise you that once the house is done, I'll build you a stables and feed you some apples and some gambas al pilpile. Anyway, guys, down to some serious building now, okay? I just broke my, my pickaxe, but it's okay. I have, an, I have a new one. Now, first thing we need is a bunch of cobblestone stairs, and I'm basically going to place them right around this edge. Wow, I can't believe I had the exact amount of cobblestone stairs for this. That is crazy. The problem is that we don't have any jungle wood trees, we don't have any spruce wood trees. We would have to adventure really far away to get those trees cut. Ain't nobody gonna be cutting those trees anywhere nearby, so we need to go a little, do a lot of traveling. But I'm definitely not gonna be doing that today. Just remember, guys, that everything I do in these episodes are in the hands of you guys. So if you want something done, you gotta comment below. Whether it's traveling, adventuring, building, killing cows, or slaughtering chickens. It's all about you guys. It's all in your hands. This is something we really need to think about because we're going to be using the same style for the rest of the city once we obviously build the castle, etc, etc. So, ugh, what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? It's a brand new day. The sun is as bright as your granddad's Ford Fiesta neon lights. Um, I, that was a stupid joke. <laughs> I don't know guys, I really need to think about this because I'm not sure if this is going to be the best design plan ever. I can't do it guys. I can't do it. I'm sorry. I have to change the design again because I'm just, I'm kind of like experimenting here. I know this is not the best place to experiment because we're building in survival and we kind of should be experimenting in creative mode, not in survival mode, but I'm trying to come up with a good design here guys. 
And now let's go back to the crazy stuff. We're gonna extend the second floor like absolute madness. And if I place a log right across here, ooh, 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 ooh. I'm actually, I'm, I'm actually developing something good here, guys. That actually looks pretty good, guys. I like that. And we gain a lot of extra space on the second floor as, as well. Isn't that right, Paquito? Paquito? At least now we have some trees growing nearby. So that's gonna, that's gonna help, guys. You don't have to travel too far to collect some wood. And this was actually suggested by one of you guys. So as I said before, your comments mean a lot. I read a lot of your comments and you guys make all the suggestions and I make them happen. Trust me, Jared does everything. Everything. Anything you want me to do, any game you want me to play, anything you want me to build, I'll build it. Right, so now we need to kind of incorporate this design throughout the rest of the building. So I have to make some changes, guys. Oh, damn it. Damn it, why? And we're going to have to make a lot of fence and a lot of, a lot of stuff, guys. We're going to need a lot of materials. I mean, building in survival isn't easy. Look at, look at this. This is coming along just great. Oh, my God. Stretch. Ooh. So at least now we have a little bit of a design formula, if you know what I'm saying. Let's place a door. And let's do some of this as well. Later on, we might even be able to place a glowstone here instead of a log. So that way, the entrance is actually lit up. That's actually a good idea. Just making my way up to the second floor. And we're going to put some log right on top of the stair blocks. Just to see, just get a, a kind of like an idea of what it would look like once we build the second floor. And yes, I am still kind of disappointed that we wasted 36 TNT on just that random cave. But don't worry, we'll build a mine shaft. That's gonna be our main entrance down into the caves. We do need to start a cow farm and a pig farm pretty soon as well. Let's see if the second floor would look okay-ish if we place some cobblestone as well. Uh, maybe not cobblestone, guys. Um, we do need to make some glass, though. I can't remember how to make glass pane, but I do know how to make some glass. Under the sea, doo-doo-doo. Under the sea, do do do. Hey! Oh wait, I'm drowning. I thought the squid was attacking. There we go. Cooking up some glass. God damn it, Paquito. Can you stay in close proximity to the house at least? I... What the hell was that? Well, I guess you can't run away now. At least you're nice and trapped in the house, right? Paquito, what are you doing? Um. What? You, you love playing pranks on me, don't you? Don't you dare leave this house, Paquito. Paquito! Oh, the red st is that the red stained glass I normally use? I can't remember. I don't know. Let's try this. Okay, there we go. That's the glass I used to use. Now, that is looking mighty fine. Now, I would use, though, a different color glass for the first floor. And I'd stick with the red for the top floor. I'm sorry, buddy, but I'm taking you with me. You're well, not with me physically, but I'm taking your ink. Because I need your ink. All I need to do is find some clay to make some pots. So we can have some flower pots outside as well. Now I did have some leaves though. So just casually placing some leaves here and there. We can, might even be able to have some flowers here. Oh, that's just grass, isn't it? There we go. I mean, we have a ton, a ton of bone meal. So we could probably do a bunch of different things. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. My epically awesome subscribers. Subscribe today and become epically awesome. I would like that. <laughs> Join the crew. And I will see you next time, guys. Don't forget to leave a comment and suggestions are always welcome. So, thank you for watching today's episode. This is Jerocraft over and out. Jesus, my screen.